guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. My name is Jacqueline, and on this channel, I do budget-related videos. If those sort of videos interest you, do please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it if you join my YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be doing my savings challenges. I am so excited to record this video because I was able to roll over a lot of money from my previous cash and stuffing. For those that might be new, I typically don't budget money specifically for these challenges. All this money has been from rollover. So that means money that I have not used for budgeted categories, such as eating out, spending, gas, and groceries, which I call compra. So yeah, so before we count to see how much we are cash stuffing today, I do have a sparkling water today from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open. That was so good. Okay, so let's just open up my binder to see how much we are cash stuffing today. This money here is just extra money that I have for the future. Okay, so I have some prop money here that's gonna represent a new savings challenge that I started, but I haven't really started it on my videos just yet. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna introduce it today for sure. So I'm gonna put this over here to the side. I'm gonna burp, put this hair up. Poof, I'm hot. Un calor de madre. Un calor de madre. Poof, okay. So let's just start to counting this money here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200 dollars. Okay, so I'm cash stuffing 200 dollars in my savings challenges. 138 of this was rollover. And the difference was money that I had extra in my budget. So um, I might not do this every time, but if I have a little extra in my paychecks, I will be saving it to put it into my savings challenges. That's what this money is here. So I'm going to keep this here in this envelope for any future cash stuffings. If I'm short as far as I don't have as many uh, rollover money, I might just tap into this money or um, I might just save it for one cash stuffing. So we'll see. But for now, I'm going to keep this money in this envelope and um, we're going to set this up and we're going to start with my first savings challenge. Okay, so we're gonna go to the back here to save a latte. And the last one that I scratched off was $15. So we are gonna cash stuff this envelope with 15 bucks. So I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 7, 8, 9, 101, two. So I have officially completed this challenge at $102. This challenge was so adorable. It is Save a Latte. It's a happy fall challenge. Um, so I'm just gonna put this away and I'm gonna bring out another scratch off. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out this one here, which is made from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and scratch one off. And depending, I might just start this today because I do have a lot of money here. Um, so I'm going to do um, this heart right here. Okay, so I'm going to cash this with $5 today. And I am going to do another one. So the next time I do this challenge, I will cash stuff it with that amount. So I'm going to do this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cash stuff this the next time I do savings challenges with $10. But for now, I'm gonna cash stuff it with five. And this challenge is from two sister bees. All right, so let's go to the front of this binder. I want to put some money inside of my mini savings challenge. I'm going to put in $21 today. 
And this mini savings challenge is gonna save me 300. And this money here, I'm going to be using it for my buffer, for my checking account buffer. So that is 21. So this challenge now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 210, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that's 218. All right, so um, I'm going to do the sweet saving. Do my digital challenges together. So I'm just gonna do the scratch offs in this binder first. So let's do this one here. Okay, so that is $20. So let's go to this challenge here, which is the winter challenge. Um, I have stuffed 20 and 13. So today I'm only gonna cash stuff, I'm gonna do 10. So I will check off this one here. And let's see how much we have. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, and 43. So I'm gonna bring out my iPad and we're going to do the roll the dice challenge. All right, you guys, let's start rolling this dice. Um, these totals here does not match up to what I have in my envelope. I don't know what I did. I wasn't messing around with this before. So I'm gonna to have to look at my previous video, the last time that I did this challenge and see what I had last. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll and I'll worry about that off camera. So I'm gonna roll this dice and this is gonna tell me how many times I'm gonna roll this dice, all right? So let's just push this back. So that's three times. And that fell on the floor, okay. So that's number six. Number two. Another two. Okay, so I'm gonna cash this envelope with six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's just take this money out. So um, I think I'm going to do, I'll just do a ten dollar bill. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 15, 16, 17. So that's 117. Okay, the next one is going to be the French challenge. And I have half the chicken leg here that I'm going to color in. It's not gonna be the best job, but that's okay. So that's gonna be $5 into this challenge. So now I have a 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. All right, so the next one is going to be the monthly challenge from Chris Prinitz. So I'm just gonna move this over. Um, this is actually, uh, what is this one from? 10, what the heck? I don't remember what this challenge is from. 25, 26, hmm, monthly. All right, so for the crisp print, it's all I have is $6. So let's see how much I can do today. Oh, okay, I thought I'm going crazy. Okay, so this money here is not from a monthly. This is actually rolling scratch. I got so confused for a moment. So this is actually a monthly challenge. This is from my uh, Roll and Scratch challenge. So I'm gonna put this back. But I can't seem to find um, Chris Prinitz's challenge in my good notes. Okay, I found my Chris Prinitz, um avocado challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably just come right back 
when this is completed and not fast forward. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I colored all of these. So I'm going to put 10 bucks into this challenge. 16. All right, so let's put this in this bunch here. I really feel thrown off without my Apple Pencil because it's so easy to navigate. Um, it won't let me slide it unless I turn the Apple Pencil off. Okay, so let me put this binder away and now I'm going to bring out some new challenges. All right, I have this beautiful folder here. I've had this folder for a while. And in here, I have a lot of goodies. Okay, let me just make sure that you guys can see this, yes. Okay, so this challenge right here, I showed it on my channel before. This is a pretty big savings goal that I have for $20,000. Each of these little envelopes represent $400. So that is why I have this prop money back here. So um, I'm going to count to show you how much I have in my ally. I won't have this money in my apartment because it's just too much money and I want this money to collect the interest. So let's just count. So I have 1,000. 500, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. So I have $2,800 in my ally for this challenge. So if I take $2,800 and divide that by 400, so I get to color in seven money envelopes. I am so excited for that. So I'm going to find my little um, pencils here. This is the first time that I'm coloring this in. So I'm a little bit <laughs> nervous and excited. I'm just going to put the money here for now. Um, I'm going to move the folder over. Or I might actually even close it only just because I don't want any bumps in the coloring as I go. And I'm not going to laminate this. So I'm going to, let's see, um, maybe I can do this pink one here. So I can do seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. Or I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's more satisfying if I go the, um, this way. So I'm not going to fast forward through it in the beginning because I do want to talk. Um, so. I thought about saving this money because I just, I would love to buy a house one day, but it's really expensive to own a home um, and I'm not blind to that. So I know my current income doesn't support it and I wouldn't be able to have money put down if I want one day for a house or something, you know. And if it's not a house, I don't know, maybe one day I'll, I'll get a new car. But I want to be able to have a nice savings for um, whatever the case may be. Instead of just putting my money that I'm saving into sinking funds that I'm eventually going to be spending. So um, I figured, and this kind of brought it on when I was doing... Um, when I saved the $2,000 last year, I was about to start putting all that money inside of my sinking funds. And I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, save this. So I took $1,200 of the 2000 and I put it into my um, ally. At first, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But then I saw this challenge and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to go for this. And I'm going to see how far I can get, you know? I don't have a time frame. You know, because I, I don't make a whole lot of money. You know, I am good at my money right now. And I don't live paycheck to paycheck like I used to for many years. But I did want to be able to start this and see how far I go. And let's see how long it takes me. You know, it can take me eight years. It can take me ten years. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna do one more. And I want 
wanted to color the inside of these green. All right, so that is it, you guys. I have started officially with my $20,000 savings. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my envelope. Okay, so this came with an envelope here, which I think is so adorable. And I think what I'll do is I will use this envelope to put money before it reaches a $400. Like if I complete a savings challenge and I want to put $100 or $50 into a $400 envelope, I'm going to put it in here. And once I reach $400, i am going to color in an envelope and then I'm going to put it into this envelope that I'm going to show you now. I got this one from Reynolds Budget. It is so adorable. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? 20K challenge. So for now, I'm going to put this $2,800 in prop money inside of this envelope. All right, and then, like I mentioned, if I wanna put money slowly into this challenge, it will go into this envelope. And then once it reaches 400, I will take it out of here, put it in the bank, and put a prop money in here of $400. That's how I'm gonna do this challenge. Um, so yeah, so that is my 20K savings challenge. Okay, so this one here, you roll the dice, and then whatever dice it falls on, the box is the number that you're going to pick. So let's just roll my dice. Okay, so two. So box two, I'm going to pick this one right here. Okay, so that's five. Let's roll again. So that's a three. So this box here, I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, that's a seven. So that is, so that's $12. I'm actually gonna put this five back. And then I'm gonna cash stuff this binder here. The rolling scratch <laughs> with this money. Okay, so. Let's just add this to this stack. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, and 38 in my rolling scratch. Okay, so let me open up my binder. I'm gonna put this in the back here without burning my paper. <laughs> um, I did want to do shut the box, so let's just go ahead and get that challenge out. Okay, so for those that don't know what shut the box is, you basically roll your dice and whatever number it falls on, you have to pick it in this row here. And the idea is to shut the box. For me, if I shut the box, I'm gonna cash stuff $10. All right, so let's just start. Okay, so I have a seven. Eight. Seven, so I'm going to do um, a four and a three. I hope that was smart. <laughs> okay, so that is an eight and I think I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not. Okay, see, I see a two. Okay, so six and a two, so that's eight. Okay, so I have to roll a nine, a five, or a six. A five, okay. So let's see here. A nine. Oh! <laughs> And yeah, I mean, I can't roll a one, so I'm gonna cash stuff one dollar. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna put this dollar here. All right, you guys, I am having a hot flash, so I have to take a sip of my sparkling water. I think this candle 
gives off like a lot of heat. Whoa, <laughs> it's sweating. Okay. Six. That's 11, nine, so I'm gonna do eight, nine, 10, 11. So I'm gonna do eight and three. Okay, so that's a six. So I'm gonna do a five and a one. So I have a six, so I'm gonna do a four and a two. So I have to roll a nine or a seven. Ah, oh, five, okay, so I have to cash stuff this with $16. So that's 10, 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to stop here. Let's see how much I have total. I think that's what I did last time. I did 17. So that's 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. That's funny. Okay, so I'm going to actually make some change. So I'm gonna put down two fives and a 10 for a 20. That way I have some more change uh, from some other challenges that I want to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in here. All right, so let's do the quarter challenge. So let's see what time it is right now. It is 9.06, so I'm gonna cash stuff this with, ow, $15. No. 15, yeah, because it's uh, 9 plus 6 is 15. So I'm going to see which, I think we're in week week 5 here. So I'm going to put this money in here. And what this challenge is, is it's a quarter challenge. So you have each week of the quarter that you're in, you have to see what time it is and then put the time and then you're gonna cash stuff that time. So it was 906, so I cashed stuff $15. And if you don't have the money for that current time, you can just maybe do a bonus field here. Um, so yeah, so let's just see. Let me see how much I have left over. Oh no, I do wanna do some of the other challenges. So I am gonna to count to see how much I have left over in a moment. I'm done with my digital um, savings challenges. Let's just bring out this binder. This binder here is gonna have some of the challenges that I want to do for from Sassy Mystic. So this um, challenge right here, which is this little box, it's $150. So how I do this is I'm gonna roll the dice and it's gonna tell me which number to pick, like which card, if I can get this open. Okay, this was the easiest thing and I made it so difficult. <laughs> okay, so let me move this over and I'm gonna roll this dice to see which card I'm going to pull. So I'm gonna pull the second one. So it's gonna be this one right here. All right, so let's see how much it is. I might keep doing it depending if it's low. Okay, so that's five dollars. I'm going to do it again. So this first one right here. So that's ten. Um, I think I'll stop here. Okay, so let me get the card. So the card here is gonna represent what I just scratched off. So it's gonna be a 10 and a five. Okay, so the 10 is the highest that this card has. And at the end, this savings is gonna save me 150. So that was $15. So let's go ahead and add this. So this is 10, 15, 21, 22, 23, and 24 dollars. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these cards in the back. 
and then put it back inside of the little box. Okay, so let me see. I think I want to do another scratch off. Um, let me see, I have so many of them. Maybe I'll start off with the sloth. There's a sloth here with my name. This one. I think it's so adorable. I don't know how much this is going to be. I have no clue. <laughs> so let me just uh, scratch off this one here to see what I'm working with. Okay, $10. And I'm going to do the other one. Not bad, $15. So I'm gonna do 15, okay. I don't have a spot yet for this challenge, so I'm just going to put it in the back here. Let's see if it fits in here. And I did want to show you guys a new challenge that I got from Budget with Carly. It came in the mail this week. So I want to try this challenge here. So let's see how much I have left. So I have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 30? 30, yes. I have $30 left. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to scratch off two of them here. So this is going to be the little amount. So it's seven, five, four, and two. That'll do this one here. So that's four. One, two, three, four. And then this one. So that's uh, seven. So that's five, six, seven. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. And I'm going to put this back in here. Um, there was another challenge that I wanted to start today. It is, um, I believe it's called the gnome. Let me see. Um, where is it? Hmm. No, it's not there. Maybe it's in here. Okay, I found the challenge. <laughs> it was literally in the same folder that I've been looking at for the past 10 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so the welcome gnome. This challenge here is help me get home. Roll the dice and move X spaces, color in the square, and save the amount inside. If you land on an acorn, save double the amount shown. Okay, so I'm going to start with one dice. Let's see. Um, and I will use my cupcake. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a five dollars. One, two, three. So that's two. One, two. I'm gonna put a little I landed it there and I landed it there. One, two, three, four. So that's one. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do this one here. And that is double. So that's going to be 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So I'm going to stop here because I have a dollar left. And this is where I left off. All right, so let's count to see how much this challenge is getting. So I have a 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so I'm going to take this dollar and I'm going to put it inside of my $1 savings challenge just because I don't know what to do with a single dollar. <laughs> So I'll put it in here and I'm going to color this here. 
All right, you guys, so that is my savings challenge. I felt like I was kind of like a little bit all over the place because I didn't have 100% plans to what I wanted to cash stuff, but I think I did pretty good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, leave a comment down below. And also leave me, uh, let's see, leave me a tree emoji. Any tree, like um, not a plant, but like a tree. If it's a palm tree or a regular tree. Um, but anyways, you guys, if you're not already subscribed, do please consider subscribing. You guys take care and I'll see you on my next one. Bye guys.